Time to play with some clay. Hello, I'm David Lemon, and I've uh, put together a group of instructional DVDs to help those interested in sculpting in clay. This video you're about to watch is a review of a two DVD set I offer called Creating a Full Figure of a Viking. At the end of the video, I'll show you purchasing options for this set of DVDs as well as others on my list. Now, Let's take a brief look at what's on these two DVDs, creating a full figure of a Viking. Some aluminum wire, and I'm going to combine the aluminum wire with baling wire as far as for the armature. And I'm just uh, establishing how long I want to make this. Well, here I am uh, just making the armature, and this is two years ago, mind you. And uh, I'm using some, it looks like aluminum wire, but it doesn't, uh, it's not as uh, soft as aluminum wire, so I think it's probably steel wire that I'm working with. And here I'm mounting it onto uh, a board, uh, anchoring it in with uh, some screws. And then I start adding clay to it. I didn't actually put any kind of support behind the uh, figure because uh, it quite honestly was strong enough to hold itself up because the wire was kind of stiff. I'm going to do the Viking and I'm going to take this uh, sketch that I did several years ago. This one had a war bonnet and all that stuff. It was called uh, <coughs> Touch the clouds. It was a particular uh, Lakota Indian uh, who was a cousin of Crazy Horse that I was commissioned to do by a gallery down in Jackson Hole in Park City. But I'm going to take this figure that I did. It's just a you know sketch that I wanted to work out the design before I went to the uh, 36 inch or 24 inch uh, tall figure. And I'm going to change uh, this thing and rework the figure and make a Viking out of it. Um, just a sketch for the one that I'll do later on. Originally this was going to be just a sketch, but it uh, worked out so well that I turned it into a, a complete uh, sculpture. And here I'm uh, just uh, starting the first face and head that I uh, did uh, on the uh, figure. I uh, later on uh, changed it completely, took off that head and uh, did it again. And I think it came out better the second time. Not being a Native American piece, it uh, has to have a different structure to the face size of the blade historically to a historical uh, blade or a sword that was found in Norway I, I believe and the blade was historically let's turn this off was 29 inches long from the uh, the uh, well it was 29 inches long and the handle was four or three and a half inches long so I've done that uh, I mean, to scale and uh, the handle would fit perfectly in his hand uh, working out uh, or researching swords and uh, working out the scale I don't want to make the sword humongous I want to make it uh, to scale I want it to look good uh, on the body again and get it as far along as I can so I can start putting clothing on it and uh, if I decide to put the robe on it, I can put the robe on it. I know it's hard to see because uh, of the black background behind the uh, black light, but it's a swing arm lamp, 
and uh, I've got it over the clay and I'm going to darken up the uh, picture a little bit so that uh, you can see the clay and I have my uh, clay underneath this lamp. hands right there inside the uh, circle and use it like a plane on wood. Here I put clay on top of uh, the paper that I had as the armature or the pattern for the shield. Uh, you, you have to have something under the clay. The clay is just not strong enough to hold itself up. And so uh, I did that, and now I'm redoing the head of the uh, Viking. Uh, I'm well into the uh, face. I show much more on uh, the creation of that uh, face and starting it out and all that stuff. Now here I uh, have uh, put the head back on the uh, body, and now I'm uh, adding hair and uh, seeing how it looks all together with the uh, shield. I did as I got some videos off of uh, YouTube showing people uh, in uh, a Viking garb over in uh, Norway at a village, reconstructed village, Viking village, where uh, they wore traditional clothing and stuff like that. And I picked up on this uh, the leggings and I wanted to kind of emulate that onto this clay. Uh, also got some uh, information on the footwear they would have worn. Uh, these, that's actually a, an ancient uh, shoe right there. And this is a reproduction similar to it. I'm going to make the pants roomy. So I'm going to add a lot of material on here. idea to change the angle of this uh, battle axe and I thought of bringing it down and just letting it sit on the edge of the uh, base. The reason I thought of doing that is because it actually looks pretty damn good from every angle. Alright, I got the studs on. Now I'm going to put the belt on. Now, the belt, from what I've seen in uh, demonstrations of medieval belts, is they were wound around the body about twice just to take the pressure off the uh, waist. That's what I'm going to do with this. Attach the sword a little bit further back because I don't want to cover up too much of the uh, body. I've worked really hard on that body and on those muscles. And the last thing I want to do is cover it up. Just make it a little easier for me to see what I'm doing in comparison to uh, the shadows and all that stuff. Can't see that working on a flat surface. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, DVD on creating a uh, Viking. I hope I've given you some uh, points and pointers on how to uh, do things and make it look like something that it ain't. <laughs> That's all sculpting is, is just uh, making things look like what they weren't. It's a magician trick, just like anything else. It comes with practice, 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 and uh, you just
just can't say enough about that. You don't do it overnight. It'll take you uh, years to develop your abilities. And some of you will have such natural abilities that it will actually be faster the uh, time that you uh, can do something. Me, it's taken over 50 years. <laughs> and uh, I've enjoyed the journey. All right, let me show you uh, how to purchase uh, your DVD or your DVDs. And uh, let's go to the computer now and I'll show you. First, you go to my website uh, where I have all my nine instructional DVDs offered to you for sale and uh, listed and uh, a short review of each uh, DVD. It opens up onto this page, Clay to Bronze, and, uh, and you'll see a review of all my uh, current nine uh, instructional DVDs uh, listed here uh, and each one is uh, linked to a YouTube review video of uh, the items or the uh, subject on each one of the uh, DVDs and uh, you pick out the one you want or the ones you want uh, you can pick uh, more than one or all of them but anyway then you go over to the upper part of the uh, right column and there you'll find this drop-down menu where you purchase my instructional DVDs and you just uh, click on the little arrow right here and that drops down a menu and it shows you the listing of all available uh, DVDs I currently have available for you to purchase. Purchase uh, more than one um, that's fine if you want to purchase this one uh, uh, DVD or a set of DVDs. Uh, that's fine too. Uh, there's, a, there's also available the ability to purchase all of uh, the selected nine uh, DVDs and uh, in one package and you can save uh, over a hundred dollars in that purchase. So using the drop down menu you go down until you find one that you want for instance, for instance, creating a horse's head in clay. You click on it, and then you click on Add to Cart. When you click on the uh, Add to Cart, a page will come up uh, linked to PayPal, your PayPal account. You just uh, make your purchase. If you want to add another one to your cart, you just uh, go down and, uh, for instance, uh, a full figure of a mountain man. Uh, click on that add that to your cart then it comes up uh, on your PayPal page again and so now you got two DVDs and uh, with the total and everything that you pay to uh, PayPal of course alright I hope that's helpful I hope uh, you got something from this and uh, I hope I've uh, perked up your interest in sculpting it's a wonderful uh, career it's a wonderful hobby uh, you can make into a career and uh, it, it, the, the world opens up to you when you when you can sculpt and eventually at, you'll figure out ways of sculpting better every day every time you sculpt something you'll learn something from the last one you did and that's I still learn I'm doing this for geez over 50 years and I'm still learning I'm still doing things for the first time so you, you just have to have patience and uh, know that uh, eventually all this is going to work out fine all right um, I'm going to let you go now and uh, see you next time happy sculpting